Hi guys and thank you so much for joining. So this season I have gotten very into the blue pumpkins. I'm not sure why, I think they're just very pretty. Um, I like the color, I like how they're orangey inside and I thought this would be a really cool thing to do for the DIY versus the regular orange pumpkins. Let's do something that's blue pumpkin related. So here are my three ideas. So the first idea, I actually saw it on the internet, I'm sorry I don't have the reference, but uh, the person was doing orange pumpkin and I am doing over here the blue pumpkin. So the idea is to take a cloth, so this is silk I believe, but it's better if you use cotton, but surprisingly silk worked really well. Over here I'm doing a lighter blue watercolor on it and then a darker one, uh, black watercolor on it. And everything is, uh, I'm just using a lot of water. The more water, the smoother the gradation will be, which is what we're trying to achieve. Over here, I'm doing the leaf. So just a few greens and a black color. So I realized that my uh, cloth was a bit too big, so I cut it a little bit. So over here I'm doing the bottom and the tops in a very simple stitch and tying both of the bottoms and the tops, which sort of, so over here it's just tying the top and seeing if the mock-up fits well. And it's a pretty good fit. So I'm doing the same thing with the bottom right now. Very simple back and forth stitch. And again, just tying it with the bottom of the thread to the beginning of the thread. It's already starting to look very cute and almost pumpkin-like. So the next step is I have some pillow fluffy thingies. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. Pillow fluff. Uh, so I'm just putting everything inside and now I am putting the cardboard mock-up in and glue gunning everything together just use some kind of uh, something like scissors to make sure you don't burn yourself so here it is and over here i'm going for the thread glue gunning the thread and threading the thread trying to create the pumpkin like shape very cool loving how this is turning out now with the wiring i'm gonna use wire for the little kind of sprout that usually the pumpkins have you know the greenery except that because this is a blue pumpkin i'm using everything silvery bluey and the leaf over here i'm just cutting it in a very random shape and gluing it on top of the wire Now over here I'm using the toilet paper roll, just cutting a little bit off it, and that will be the base of our napkin ring. And wrapping around this nice gray fabric. So here is the ring and the pumpkin elements. Now it's just a matter of putting everything together. And here is the final piece. It looks so adorable. I absolutely love how it turned out. Unique twist on the usual orange pumpkin and I think it's just such a beautiful addition to your table. Now for the second idea, this one is much easier than the one before. We are just gonna take a piece of uh, fabric and we're gonna create kind of like a circular shape. By the way, it's best if it's not perfect circle, if it's a little bit rugged. And then with the needle going around the diameter,
tie nicely the only time it would not, not tie nicely if the thread is too thin this thread worked really well but sometimes it does open uh, so just be mindful of the thickness of the thread putting everything nicely kind of fluffing it up Now for the stem of the pumpkin, the best thing that I could think of was to actually take the toilet paper roll. Now from the side, you will see that it unrolls to create almost like a, just like a flat cardboard. Uh, if you wet it, it becomes much more easier to work with and bend. So over here, I'm kind of bending it in half and then just kind of, you know, and then just bending it furthermore, twisting it, uh, trying to create like the real natural look of the stem of the pumpkin. Also do the bottom so that it's easier later on to insert into our pumpkin. Uh, when you put it to dry, I like to have these, you know, kind of like obstacles because they curl the cardboard and it looks much nicer. So here it is when it's dry, after it dried up, and because at the bottom we have this little uh, kind of area, wider area, it fits perfectly in, and you don't even need to glue gun it, uh, but definitely uh, over here I am glue gunning it, if that's an option if you would like it to, but really it actually stays pretty well by itself. So here is the final result, a uh, few of them, they look very gorgeous. If you go into the stores, each of these pumpkins is like $20 or something, and you can do just as beautiful pumpkins on your own. So for the third idea, I'm going to be doing something with the clay. I'm going to be creating pumpkins. First, just roll a nice ball. Over there I have the bowl with water because periodically it's best to add a little bit of water into this clay. With a brush or a pencil, create the lines, the, um, the halves of the pumpkin that create the pumpkin. And then again with water, smooth everything out. Now for the stem, take a small piece of clay. Also twist it a little bit so it looks natural. Uh, for, take the needle and score the bottom of the pumpkin, uh, sorry, the top of the pumpkin and the bottom of the stem. This creates like a, almost like a bonding element and if you notice there's a lot of water in there so it just bonds the clay together and smooths the areas around. So I have found some acorns in the park and I am attaching them to the caps and after I am coloring all of them over with the white, preparing them for what I'm about to do next. So here are my pumpkins. I have made how many? I've made six different ones. Some of them are higher, some of them are lower and they are now completely dry. And I had an old potpourri that I was not really using and over here I laid everything out, the potpourri including the pumpkins and including the acorns. And uh, now they are looking, actually I love how they look, I love the natural look of it, but the um, I, I kind of wanted to have them all blue and I wanted to do a blue gradient. So I just laid them out f first and now I'm going to be coloring them. I found it much easier to separate these into, I believe this was five different chunks and going from dark to light, 
because I could control the dark to light a little bit better just by just adding a little bit of white each time. Uh, by the way, the blue, I used the blue, but then I also used a bit of black to offset the brightness of the blue because I wanted to be a little bit more of a subtle blue versus like a really, really saturated one. And I also used the soda so that it creates kind of like a chalky, um, almost clay-like effect on everything really. So here is the final result, going from the dark blue to the light. I love the gradient, I think it looks so cool and very fall-like but with a little bit of a twist. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you do something like this yourself. Please subscribe, like and share this video if you like this and thank you so much for watching, bye!